another explanation of fractions. Hi Starry, let's revise fractions. Look at this fraction. Here, out of three equal parts, two are selected. So two is the numerator and three is the denominator. We read this fraction as two upon three. Now, Starry, look at these paper strips. Each figure is divided into three equal parts. Each part of the three equal parts of a whole is 1 upon 3. So, two such parts is 2 upon 3. So, the colored part is 2 upon 3 and the uncolored part is 1 upon 3. Let us look at another example. Here, one whole is divided into five equal parts. So, each part equals one upon five. Here, three such parts is three upon five. So, the part with design is three upon five and the part without design is 2 upon 5. Isn't it interesting, Starry? Now observe this. One whole is divided into four parts. Each colored part is 1 upon 4. Three such parts equal 3 upon 4. Look at this one. Each part is 1 upon 11. 5 such parts is 5 upon 11. Look at the next one. If each part is 1 upon 13, 6 such parts is 6 upon 13. If each part is 1 upon 7, then the 4 such parts will be 4 upon 7. Let us revise. Fill the boxes with the proper fraction. The first one states each part equals 1 upon 3. Two such parts is dash. The answer is 2 upon 3. The second one states that each part is 1 upon 9. Seven such parts is dash. The answer is seven upon nine.
The next one tells us that each part equals 1 upon 8. So, 5 such parts equals dash. The answer is 5 upon 8. Let us do another activity for each fraction. Name the numerator and denominator. Write the fraction in words. Answer the first one. Here, the numerator is 3. The denominator is 13. And the fraction is is read as 3 upon 13. Answer the second one. Here, the numerator is 7. The denominator is 9. And the fraction is read as 7 upon 9. Answer the third one. Here, the numerator is 5. The denominator is 21. And the fraction is read as 5 upon 21. And now, answer the last one. Here, the numerator is 6. The denominator is 7. The fraction is read as 6 upon 7. So, today you have learned another way of looking at fractions. Bye!